In this problem, we're going to verify this logical equivalence using the laws of logic. Let's go ahead and work this out. Solution. So we'll start uh, by writing down the more complicated side, which is the left-hand side. So we have P and not Q or P. And the goal is to get to P. So there's a property called the absorption law, which looks like this. It's P and P or Q. And this is equal to P. This is called the absorption law. And so right away when you see a problem like this, this it should come to mind because you're almost there. You're almost at that form, but you're not quite there. So we would be there if we could just switch the P and the not Q. And we can do that using something called the commutative law. So this is P and P or not Q. And this is by the commutative law. The commutative law says that if you have P or Q, it's simply Q or P. Okay, then now we can use the absorption law, which is up here. And this is just P. And this is by the absorption law. Right, it's exactly the same except the Q is a not Q. But that doesn't matter what that is. As long as we have the P and then the P or something, that's going to be P by the absorption law. I hope this has been helpful.